welcome to the fourth regular expression tutorial and we have achieved various things and we have learned about this quite a bit things and now to match complex pattern we need to have more power on regular expression and more power means more rules so and these rules are very useful and very easy to learn how let's see so we have seen that we can match call 3 4 5 but what if I don't want to have only numbers here I also want to select these three this means these number are optional if it is there that's okay if not that's not a problem so if we remove this plus sign then it is going to check only one times so the problem is because of this plus sign and this number so plus sign says that yes i want this thing whatever it is at least one time or more so yes we have three times so that's okay but it will be good if we have some power which says i want zero times or more so it simply means that if it is there that's okay if it is not there that's also okay so now we have a new thing which is called asterisk and to remember asterisk it start from zero you can see asterisk is just like zero so if we join asterisk uh, vertices then it will become zero so that's why it it is now controlling everything and it says okay it if it is not there that's not a problem so now it is selecting it is matching these tall old bowl also okay so you can remember this thing easily plus means at least one or more and asterisk means zero or more this is good but now suppose i have a pattern like dot com and here also dot com and let's say dot org okay so now i need to match these so what we can say simply i want dot com at the last but we know we the dot has a special meaning in regular expression so we need to skip it so escape dot com but yes we want asterisk also so you can see this is also selected this is also selected but we have problem with this dot org so now comes the problem that i don't want to hard code com i want to have set of characters or from a to z and because i flag is there if we use capital m that will be okay and obviously we need to say plus sign this plus sign is going to say okay we want at least one or more but you have never think that any uh, any website will end up with dot o dot j dot k dot b no it at least has two characters so plus sign is saying okay okay things because there cannot be one character there cannot be more than three or four character i, I have never seen any website ends with uh, more than three character dot org dot com dot edu various things as three so for the precaution yes we can limit to four but how we can actually limit it so it is uh, okay to have dot co and it is okay to have dot uk it is okay to have dot in here but how we can limit this that user cannot type like this or cannot type like this okay so we need to limit this to three characters only so because plus is saying at least one or more until the line breaks so here comes a new thing and now we are going to learn about these curly braces so remember we have learned about parentheses in which whatever we define we can just have some group okay then we can see we also have bracket square bracket which is just for the character set and now come the third bracket type we have that is curly braces and here we can define how many uh, character we want so we want only three so in this time you can see it's not going to match 
j at the last and it's not going to match n at the last so yes it is also incorrect but that's okay we can play with that because there never has any uh, ending with four characters so yes it is okay but as we have seen that if we do that thing we lost the matching for two characters so now we can simply say that okay yes i want three but maybe two will be also good for me so we can simply say either three or two but this has to be in order so this means i can say two or three so now it is going to match it very very useful things so we have seen in this episode about asterisk and about this which is two or three which is just going to limit with certain uh, precision and the last thing we need to learn in this episode is about this kind of thing so we have some kind of uh, ending that dot co dot in how about this it's not going to match this this is a valid one but this is not going to match because we have not uh, play about this kind of things we are we have no clue that how we can do that so it's very easy we can simply say dot in but you know we have to escape it so escape dot in but if we do this yes the first one is matched but we have lost the control over these two so yes we want this but sometimes we don't want so just like this asterisk we can use this but if we use asterisk it's not going to work because we have this dot also so what we can do we can wrap this inside parenthesis and now we can say yes i want zero or more this is good but it will do like this kind of pattern this kind of pattern which is not uh, we want so what we can say we just want only one time so yes we can simply say i just want one time so if i say this it lost because i want one so yes you can say zero or one so now it's going to match and if i say dot in it's not going to match but writing this is little confusing because it's just going to match either it is or not it's a boolean expression we want it we don't want it so why confuse with this characters so we have a simple thing which is called question mark and question mark will ask you want if we have it that's okay if we don't have that's also okay so if we use dot in here once more it's not going to work because we have question mark here which just going to say okay i want this whatever inside this parenthesis is optional thing and if it is there i will going to include it so these three things which is very very important question mark to check whether it is or not then comes this curly braces which is going to limit with exact precision and asterisk will just going to say okay i want this to be zero or anything so this is all about quantifier and alternation so if you want to learn regular expressions with great examples and with great precision so just go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notifications like bit films on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye